recording and rolling or continuing to roll as the case may be up and down the finger. And into the palm. And the back to the pinky. And the thumb. Down to the wrists. Uh, to the knuckles and across. And we're keeping the ball in the palms, interlacing the fingers and squeezing. And releasing. Squeeze. And release. And squeeze. Release. Let's touch the ball in the air. Three, two, one, leave the ball on the floor, assess the feet, step on the ball, press down three times right in the middle, move up to the knuckles, around on each. Roll across. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise the toes and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And a scribble. Three, two. One, release, reassess, and repeat on the other foot three times in the middle. Up to the knuckles. Roll across. Middle of the foot, wiggle the toes. Press the toes. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one, get the ball out of the way, reassess, and shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Twist the waist, swing the arms. Mm. 
And center, we're going to do the earth grounding exercise. The hands are going up and down the front of the spine. And you're shifting weight from one side to the other. Coming up on the toes, then back down on the heels. Hands are expanding. Three. Two, one, and let's take some steps forward. And then elbow towards the opposite knee. Left the opposite heel in the front. And then slap it behind you. And then take a cross step with a twist and a punch. And then we'll walk or march or jump. So today is isometric day. We're going to do a low, low uh, stationary squat, We're holding it. But you can do squats uh, if you want to. Get the heart rate going. I'm going to run. You can do exactly what you're doing. But if you do, be safe. You know, at the end yoga after class. Going in five, four, three, two, one. And twenty. And thirty. The rest. Place the fingers, raise the hands, reach up, come up on your toes if you can. And back down, bend back. Back to center, bend to one side. Then the other. And back to center, lower the hands, push out of the chest. And 
Come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back, we we'll raise the hands up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Go a little higher. Come on down and shrug. And let's pretend we're in a pool in Santa Barbara and swim. And do a backstroke. And a breaststroke. Bring the hands out and tap the shoulders. One arm across, press in. Then the other. First arm behind the back, press them down and in. Then the other. Form a W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release. And a squeeze. Release and squeeze. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. Stop, bring the elbows behind the head and just move them back and forth. Come on down, rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Come on back to center, tuck in the chin, look to one side. Drop the chin to the collarbone. And look up. Back to center, still tucked, look the other way. Drop it. And look up. Back to center, tuck in the chin, pack like a pigeon. And let's grab a stick. Let's put the stick inside the arch of one foot. So the foot out to the side, bend that knee, slide down, stretch the inner thigh.
Anything the other way? Bring the first foot out in front, put the stick behind it, slide down the stick, raise the sole, and you can wiggle it back and forth if you'd like. Press the sole of the foot against the stick. Bring the other foot in front, stick behind. And press the sole foot against. Come on up, we're going to do Dr. Lee's dynamic stick routine. So the stick goes on the shoulders and we twist at the waist. And if you want, bring some steps into it slowly. And then bring the stick up overhead and go side to side. And then bring it below the waist and go side to side. And then to one side, back and forth. And then the other side. And then bring it out front and paddle the kayak. Reverse. And then bring the stick up to the shoulders and flops the wrists. And then come down and to the shoulders. And then above and below. Stop at the shoulders, reverse the grip, lock the wrists. Come on down and up. Oh, just come down. <laughs> I'm sorry, just do uh, six bicep curls. And then go up and down. Top of the shoulders, bring the stick around back again and do some step ups, only go as high as feels safe, alternating the legs. And 
And then some hip rotation, same thing. Only as high as it's safe for you. And then we're going to bring the stick to the side, hold on to the top or near the top and swing behind. On the side. And then to the middle, hold on with two, one, or a finger or two. It's an isometric day. Let's go up on our toes and hold for 17. And then back on our heels for about 17. Three, two, one. All right, we'll put the stick down. Um, have a belt or a band or a strap or a cloth or a towel nearby for later. But we're going to start with some neck presses as usual, making two fists, tongue on top of the uh, roof of the mouth, on the roof of the mouth, I should say, and uh, put the this under the jaw and press down as you hold. And release. And if you do a low squat, you only need to go as low as you feel comfortable doing. You can hold on to the back of a chair or stand behind it with two hands. This is as low as you feel comfortable doing. That's as low as you should go. I'm going to move a little lower by moving my legs out and putting them at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to hold for now 2019. 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming up, we're going to do the um, leg extension curl. You can do it in a chair by sitting down, crossing one ankle, and resisting as you move one leg up. Or, of course, you can do it on your back, which is how I'm going to do it. Either way is fine. So one ankle is in front of the other, and we're pushing up as we're resisting bottom leg winning. And then the top leg wins on the way back down. Yeah. And reverse the position of the feet and repeat. And back down. Ah, okay. Turn around or horse. You got your toes on the ground, palms underneath the shoulders. We're going to lift our knees off the ground about an inch and hold for 15, 14, 13. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. And down. And let's do a plank. We're going on our forearms, elbows under the 
shoulders. You can do this from your knees, just hold, or your toes, and we'll do 20. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eight, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Come on up. We'll put the chair aside if it's in your way. Keep it handy. We're going to need it for the breathing, believe it or not. Um, or you can be on the floor. But um, hold the strap or band or towel in front of you, both fists close together, facing in below the waist. Go back and forth as you bring it up, resisting each way. I'm gonna go up to right above the top of the head. And then back down. And then go over to your left hip, reverse the grip of your right hand, which is on top, and pull towards your right shoulder, resisting with your left arm. And then pull back down to your left hip, resisting with your right arm. Reverse the grips, go over to your right hip. Pull up to your left shoulder. And back down. All right, you can ditch the power band. Grab position. And push in it. And then one hand on top of the other, grip with your fingers and pull apart. Reverse the position of the hands, same thing. And then our Charles Atlas. Three, two, one. All right. Um, we're doing some breath work that I suggest you sit down for just in case you feel a little lightheaded at the end. You can sit in the chair or you can sit on the floor. Get the chair out today, so may as well do it in the chair. It's uh, pretty simple. It's breathing in through the nose, um, down through the chest, through the belly, and then exhaling with by just releasing. Through the nose. I did through the mouth there by mistake. It's through the nose both ways. And we do 20 of those rather not rapidly, but uh, at a good pace. And then on the uh, 20th one, we're going to pull in and hold for 10 at the top, exhale and hold for 10 at the bottom. Can't do 10, do what you can. Uh, we're just going to do one round. Here we go.
And then rub your hands together. And when you feel able to stand up, I got very light headed there. And Chibo. Um, center. Two breaths. And we'll let us open our hearts. Pause on this inhale, exhale, send it out. And center to press. And bring down chief and bow. You have it from below. And uh, uh, <laughs> I'm Thank you, Tom. Okay, you're very welcome. Ciao, right. Nina. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you, Tom. See you tomorrow, I hope. I hope. See you tomorrow. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Ci amo. <laughs> and Alaska, we're doing five Tibetans. No, we're not. We're doing uh, yin yoga. I'm going to put on the Floor camera, going to get the timer. Today's quotation is self-compassion is simply giving the same kindness to ourselves that we would give to others, said Christopher Drummer. Timer, start. Put on the sound. And... Come on, all right, nine, eight. We're going to start in cat position. And cat.
it on here.
Mr. Jack. Thank you. 